Is this an indication the search algorithm is rigged? Well, hello there. Uh, a box has landed at my secret post office box. Uh, obviously, I haven't opened it yet. I can only assume that, that someone who I gave a prize to has decided to send something back to me. I see that it's come from the UK, and the custom declaration says... Toy Trains. The cost to send this parcel from the UK to Australia was £21.50. They don't do cents, do they, in the UK? And there is a beautiful picture of a much younger Queen of England. So this is a beautiful surprise. I wasn't expecting this. Uh, sometimes when I send a prize or a giveaway to people, they say, Hey, Leah, can we send you something back? I always decline uh, because basically, well, I've got enough Thomases in my life. There's another video which may show those. I don't know whether it's going to be uploaded before or after this video in relation to those guys over there. They're picking over the top there. Let me um, get this open and we'll find out what is inside. Don't you love a mystery unboxing? Uh, this video has just been made just after that Brit X thing where uh, the UK decided to go it alone away from Europe. And uh, I think Trump's going to get in now in the USA after seeing what went on in the UK. Ooh, I wonder what's in here. Ooh, there's layers of things here. Uh, most importantly, there's a note here. Let me read this note. Let's try and get through this little letter here. It says, Dear Leo Kim Video, I have found some of my old Thomas stuff from when I was little in my shed. Seeing as you like that sort of stuff, I thought you might like it. Yes, I think you're right there. I do not need this stuff as I'm collecting Trackmaster 2 stuff. That's sort of curious to hear. Well, nice to know anyway. I have also thrown in some Doctor Who stuff for the Tom Baker fan. Yes, uh, well, Tom Baker was the Doctor Who when I was uh, quite younger, in my uh, early teenage years. Thank you for reading and have a lovely day. My YouTube channel is The Doctor Who and Thomas Guy. YouTube's a funny place. Look there, I just typed in The Doctor Who and Thomas Guy as a channel search, and look what the things that came up. What is Ryan's Toy Reviews doing under that sort of search? Uh, what's going on with YouTube at the moment? Is this an indication the search algorithm is rigged? I don't know what they call that, uh, but I think that sort of activity on YouTube is wrong. I see more and more of it. But anyway, I did another search and I end up finding this gentleman here. There's his channel there, the Doctor Who and Thomas guy. Yes, I remember this uh, user. I think the video that was showing the prize that I sent may have gone. Or it might have been on another one of his channels. I think this person's got a number of channels. Well, enough looking at that. Uh, let's get into the box. Okay, well, no surprise, surprise, uh, Doctor Who, the Tom Baker years, oh, it's actually 74 to 81, I'll be giving away my age, won't it? And another one here, State of Decay, the Tom Baker years, 74 to 81 again. Okay, let's take a look at this DVD here. Do DVDs from the UK work in Australia? Okay, uh, yeah, didn't they do this thing, sort of anti-piracy thing, so we weren't ripping everyone off, or making making it hard for people to make money from this? Anyway, thanks for that, let's take a look further down. I have to come in and do some careful cutting here or something. Ooh, this looks a little bit different, doesn't it? Okay, it looks like we have here some Hornby track. There's a set of points there. And some straights, uh, much appreciated. And do you remember the little test you do to train track like this to see if it's good or bad, to see if it's magnetized? This is the good stuff. The magnet doesn't pick it up. That's what we like to see. The stuff that the magnet will pick up will just end up rusting. Okay, hopping in for some more. It's a real mixed bag. Some surprises in here, I'll tell you. Okay, let's just get out this blue track here. This track is hard to find. I actually don't have that much of the track on board is actually a fair bit of here. Yeah, it's the Tony Dark Blue track. Uh, thank you very much. That's nice to have. Okay, the next part. Oh, this is a bit of Tony. Uh, it's a riser piece. You know what it's from. I've just lost my words here. That is Track Master. It might be hit to a company. Let's take a look underneath that one. Yes, well, anything which is straight I'm excited about. It is the Mattel era stuff, 2011. Okay, the next piece I'll get out is this, and it's wrapped up, so I'm going to have to do a bit of random cutting and stuff to get into this, I think. I know what this is, but then again, I, maybe I don't know. 
need two hands with this one. Okay, wow. I've cut this obviously, and it is two of the Tomy Dark Blue Rises, and that's something I do not have many of those at all. That's actually very nice, so it goes with that pile over there. Okay, next one. It's a big bubble wrap boogie one here. Okay, I sort of can see what that is. See if I can do this without using a knife. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like magic, isn't it? Gonna do that. Okay, that is a Trackmaster stop go, as in classic Trackmaster. We like to say the word classic, don't we? Because we can now. And a whole bunch of classic Trackmaster curves. I've had a look underneath. It's all Mattel era classic Trackmaster, not Hit Toy Company. I can see some Dalek action there, but there's these loose guys here. Let's take a look at these loose guys. Come on out, little guys. Let's take a look. Exterminate! Exterminate! Uh, obviously, that is a black Dalek, one of the evil, evil guys in Doctor Who. Oh, he's gone for camera there. And there are some Cybermen there. These are the character building toys, I believe. And I just have a mental blank onto what that one there is. So I know the audience will fill it in for me. Nice pickup. Okay, the next one uh, is called a Dalek Patrol. They're all goldies in there. Yeah, the ABC shops in Australia, the real shops had folded. Uh, I don't remember seeing those in the shops, or maybe you have. And let's get another piece here. This one here is quite a large piece, a bit of weight in it. Ooh. Can you tell what it is? Mmm, another mystery. Okay, I've done some major cutting now, and we'll reveal what we have here. This is, ooh, this is beautiful. Um, it looks like Hornby underneath will tell me. Yes, it's Hornby of the China era. Uh, I grew up in the uh, Made in England era. Isn't it funny how things have changed? But hey, who knows, it may change back after what happened with England and Europe. Might be a big wake-up call for everyone, uh, that little event. I'm hoping it's a big wake-up call. Uh, just a bit of wrap stuck there. There is a second one there. It actually reminds me of the Barkman. Is it Gordon's Express carriages are like that? I'm getting it right there. Yeah, it's very nice. Uh, thank you very much. My son will be very impressed with those two. Okay, diving into this box, it has been uh, quite a remarkable mixed bag of stuff here. Oh, I think we can see who is going on in there. Oh, this is very nice. I just need a little bit of a slice through here very carefully. Yes, well, I think we know what's going on in here, and this is rather, rather nice. Okay, we have got Horn the Annie. Beautiful there, I've got to show the face or you're going to deduct points from me, aren't you? It's, it's an absolutely, actually in pretty good nick, actually. And we've got Hornby Clarabelle. Okay, there is the face. Very nice indeed. Uh, very nice. That is the second set of those that I have. Okay, I think we're down to our last two items here. I will just grab this smaller one here. And again, it's going to need a little bit of a careful slice. Without slicing a finger and a bit of a pick and a prod. Okay, who is going to pop out of here? Whoa, it's a traction engine, it's George. It's a little bit uh, worse for wear, but nevertheless, it's got a beautiful new home. Look at the face on that. That's some attitude, isn't it? Where's the faces like that these days? Is that a... Is that a Tommy one? Yeah... I can't, if, I don't think it's Ertl. Then again, I might be wrong. And this is, this is a bit unusual, a checkout Thomas from the UK. Now, many, many people said to me these Thomases uh, were never in the UK, and yet here is one that's flown across, ooh, right around the world, to come to Australia. And that is going to be another Thomas from my Thomas collection. These had all different sorts of variety and everything. They're actually a little, a little $2.00. Thomas back in 2007 that assaulted you at the checkouts when you went through the shops. They were great little things. Okay, that is uh, very nice to have those two. And then there was one. This is the final thing in this box apart from bubble wrap down there. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, I don't think I've got one of those. Oh yeah, uh, I think this person knows the Thomases I don't have, and I may have spoken about this one. 
you're going to know this one. I'm pretty sure I know what this is, and I'm actually pretty excited because it's one of the Thomases I thought I would never ever uh, end up getting. Okay, this is actually uh, rather rather exciting. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. That is the Tommy Thomas from the dark blue track area because look at the coupling there. It is the first time I've seen one of these and it is really, really nice to have. And there's also a wagon here as well because it was like Lego studs on this stuff. Very different sort of magnet system these guys had. In fact, Thomas is dysfunctional on the magnet there. I've got other stuff I can pull the magnets out of and repair, Thomas. I don't care. It's a great Thomas to have. Boy, oh boy. That is exceptionally nice. Well, it's um, actually just started thinking how appreciative I am of getting this Thomas. Um, you know, I'm totally overlooking for stuff on eBay. In fact, I think I'll just give eBay away. I've had a couple of quite nasty experiences there, uh, as you'd know from previous videos of mine. Let's take a, a look inside here. It just says Tommy underneath. There's no date. I know the audience is going to fill in the gaps for me. Maybe there's a date if I keep looking around. Maybe sometimes up there. Oh yes, okay, there's something right there. That's what we like to see. Brit Allcroft Thomas Limited, 1992. Okay, 1992 was a long time ago, boys and girls. Uh, my mum's microwave is 1990. Uh, there's a screw up there. You maybe could have done custom faces on these. Was it like that with this, Thomas? You can see it would have had colours around there. It's been played with and loved, but that doesn't bother me. It, just for the fact I've got one, I'm very, very happy, I tell you. Let's take a look at the power core here. It's got the usual signs of Tommy stuff where it's picked up fluff and dust in here and I get my dental probe in there, I could probably clear it out. It's missing its traction tyres. That's something I often saw with these, with the other ones that I've got as well. I uh, seem to have the traction tyres missing. It just says Tommy underneath there. Let me get a battery in here. I'm just curious to see if it works. There's no corrosion or rust going on there, which is a nice sign. The switch, I think, is broken. It would have been a little plastic tab coming up here, but I can do this. Oh, listen to that. There's a sound that's going to bring back good memories. Oh yeah, nice and strong too. It's got gears on the side there. Was that for climbing on the set? Okay, and I think it had a directional thing here. Is that changing the direction? I can't tell. Can you tell? I think it's changing the direction. I think it's forward and backwards. But the sound is um, worth its weight in gold. That's if sound has a gold weight. Uh, totally beautiful, totally beautiful. Okay, I've laid down some blue Tommy track. That is the sort of track that was the era of this beautiful Tommy Thomas. I've never seen one of these go. I'm a bit curious of the speed. Mind you, the traction tires are missing. Hope I've got that on correctly. Okay, go Thomas, go. It's not really that crash hot, is it? Mind you, the tires uh, are missing. Maybe they had traction tires. It would do better. Is it wheel spinning at the back there? Can you see that? Or is that just the speed they went at? Anyway, that's what it does. That's a really nice Thomas toy to have. It has really made my day. Uh, I am very excited to have that one. I always remember the person who gave it to me. Every time I look at that, I think, wow, I remember that person. Let me show you my other rare Tommy Thomas toys. In a transparent tub marked rare Tommy, well, inside, is the rare Tommy stuff that I've got. Uh, the bulk of this has come through the charity shop. Some of them I've picked up at garage sales. There's Annie and Clarabelle that will go with that. Finally, they've got someone to go with. Okay. Uh, but I think down there, you'll see the traction tyres have been blown off uh, anything I've got which is powered. Yeah. They're, they're, well, they're gone. They're all melted, those traction tires. They've all gone hard and weird on that one. So that's obviously one little problem with these. There's another one. Well, that one's got traction tires, but it may be an aftermarket fit. Or they may be the ones that they had. Maybe I could pull those off and put them onto Thomas. Well, guess what? I stole those traction tires. Uh, I grabbed some blue tack. I grabbed a magnet, and I put a magnet in there to couple up to any and Clarabelle. Let me slip this top part on here. Okay, let's give this very old Tommy Thomas the Tank a bit of a spin if I can get that switch. Okay, away it goes, and we have a surprise on the back there. 
It's a Doctor Who Thomas the Tank toy train. Yay! And I'll just let you listen to that beautiful sound of the Tommy train. I'll be curious, I'll add on some extra wagons just to see how much uh, this train can pull along. Okay, well there's another one, it's still going strong. Let's put another one on. I think because of its low speed it'll have some pretty good pulling power. Okay, there's another one on there. And we will come along and we'll squeeze on another one. There it goes, still pulling nice and strong. Well I've got another one here, let's put that on. Whoa, a bit of a broken coupling but it's still dragging it. Every train needs a brake van or a caboose, doesn't it? Okay, it's on as well. Go, Thomas, go! Quite impressive, isn't it? When you look at the older toys, you sort of see what things used to be like. And in no way is that a spring chicken toy. That toy is quite old and still very impressive it's actually a bit of a challenge to turn off i'll have to capture thomas here with a screwdriver and turn him off i can get that okay Woo. silence is golden well i better wrap this video up here uh thank you very much again to the doctor who and thomas guy i hope i said it right there very impressive remembering i got all that stuff there the hornby stuff uh, the Doctor Who, as in Tom Baker era stuff, the Thomas Boogie there, some Hornby track, that track system there. The track master circle here was from him as well. Uh, Thomas was definitely the, I think, the piece of resistance in that little gift there. And also, don't forget, we've got these guys here as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing this unboxing video. I got a big surprise, I tell you. Uh, I know lots of people are going to say, oh, Leo, well, what's your dress and all the rest of it? I usually decline uh, things that are offered to me because it would just bog me down because I'd, I'd make a video about it and my whole channel would just become basically thank you videos. Uh, this person here obviously knows the things that I like and the things that I didn't have. Getting this a rare early Tommy Thomas is quite amazing. Again, thank you. I better leave this video here. As always, thanks for watching and bye for now.